here we are at the Flying Can Ranch down in Cedar Creek, Lake, Texas. The other day I did a video. I uh, I took one of my uh, blowbacks and I, and I was doing a lot further shooting. And we're going to see how it worked out. Worked out pretty good. Today we're going to be using the Crossman Triple, Triple, Triple Threat. And I'll show you why it's called that in a minute. I've reviewed this gun before. So where I normally cock off at is about 20, 20 feet. 25 feet where I normally test these pistols. This one here is about 45 feet. I've got it loaded up, ready to go. So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna see if this bad boy will reach up and touch something. So uh, I got a little metal can. I've been experimenting with it as we go. And uh, get this out on a night where it ain't so hot, everybody's feeling it's gonna fall over dead in Texas. It has been hot. Yeah, I guess it. Sorry about that. I, I put some different pellets in it. We're going to try it again. Everything looks like it's pretty much lined up the same way. Uh, this thing's kind of surprised me with this metal can. Uh, let's rock and roll. Okay, big boys, we're still rolling. We're still rolling. Back that down a little bit. Um, this is a can I hit earlier when I was trying to figure all this out. I was tearing it up pretty good. Um, cut a little low, cut a little high. Definitely not a target gun. I can guarantee you that. 
Got the same thing here. Uh, little low, little high. So that's good. Not bad. This is all standard freehand combat grip. You know, here again, low, high. Here's what kind of surprised me is it took a couple times, but it actually did go into this can. Or just, you can see where it just kind of split it. I might have hit it in that spot more than once down there. So that kind of surprised me. And now we're going to go back over here real quick, like, in case anybody doesn't know this. Dogs are out here messing around. Boy, it's been crazy, crazy, crazy. The reason they call this is a triple threat when you order it. It comes with all these different barrels. I got the 10 inch on here. I believe that is a, uh, by way of comparison, I think that's an 8 inch. And then I think you got a 3.5. You can just pop that little screw out right there and uh, take that screw out, take the barrel out, put your other barrel on. Like I said, I've reviewed it before. It's a rifle barrel. And uh, I think I did pretty good for that distance, standard freehand. You can see. I really had to get that rear sight raised up pretty good to, to pull that off. So, at any rate, it'll do it at that distance. I don't know if it'll go back any further. I, yeah, I might try it again later. But, um, just wanted to share that with you. It's, uh, like I said, it's not a target gun. It's versatile. <coughs> it's not all that expensive. CO2. Um, a lot of fun. Just get out here. And like I said, it's a little cedars out here, but it ain't that hot that it's going to kill you. And want to share that with you, so it will reach out that distance. It will do that. Questionable on a metal can, but, you know, I wouldn't go hunting with it, that's for sure. You might be able to knock off a rat or something with it up close. But all in all, there it is, the Crossman Triple Threat. Knocked it off about 45 feet. Standard free hand. Did pretty good with it. So we'll just keep on trying with these little cheapy-like pistols, see what we can do, what we can't do at different distances. Like I said on my last video, you know, I was shooting from about, whoop, whoop, here out to there. I mean, that looks a long ways. It really isn't 45 feet. Whereas I normally try these, and I'm standing right here, and I'm going for that box right there. So, you know, you know, about double, a little over double the distance. So, that was a lot of fun. I want to share it with you. And uh, I got a lot of stuff to get caught up with today. And uh, all I can say is that's how we do it. Boom, at the Flying Can Ranch. Catch you later.